Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be making two Dollar Tree DIYs. I am going to be making two Christmas tree base covers and the first one is gonna be a rustic nautical rope collar and the second is gonna be a Christmas tree box that looks like wood. And before I do get started on my video, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe so that you guys don't miss out on my future videos. Also, this coming Sunday is going to be my last holiday giveaway. I am going to be giving away one of my door round signs, a $30 gift card to Target, and a caramel latte candle, so don't miss out. Now, let's get started on this video. And these are the materials that we're going to be using to make our nautical rope tree collar. The first thing you're going to want is one of these large Dollar Tree baskets some wire cutters. These are optional. I'm just using them to make the cutting process a lot easier. Or scissors. You're gonna want 12 nautical ropes, some burlap ribbon, hot glue, and these finger protectors. It is very important that you do use finger protectors for this project since it does require a lot of hot glue. And I did purchase mine at the Dollar Tree. So the tree base that I have for my Christmas tree is 19 inches in diameter. So this fits perfect for the tree base that I have. But if your tree base is a lot bigger or a lot smaller. And the Dollar Tree also has this white bucket that looks like this. If your base is smaller, this would also work. You would just remove the handles and then just do the same process as wrapping the rope around. And if the base is bigger, then you can go to Walmart or Target and purchase a bigger um, bucket to fit your size. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to start by cutting the basket and I'm using some wire cutters just to make it easier on me. But I am going to be removing the top and the bottom of the basket. So now you can get rid of this because we won't be using this for anything else. I'm gonna flip my basket over and do the same thing to the bottom. And then as well with the bottom part of the basket, you don't need this. You're gonna be left over with something that looks like this after you remove the top and the bottom. And now we're just going to cut it open. So now that you have something that looks like this when it's open, we're gonna be removing the three little parts at the edge of the basket. Now the next step is we're going to use our nautical rope and just start hot gluing from edge to edge. One of these nautical ropes goes around the basket two times. And what I'm going to start my process is I'm going to hot glue the very first two just to make it nice and sturdy. And then for the rest of them I just hot glue every other for the first row. So I used 12 nautical ropes for mine. Um, my tree stand is nine inches high, so just to give you about a rough estimate. So once you get your desired height for yours, then you're just going to cut the tips off with your scissors. So now that you cut the tips of your basket, now we're going to cover this up with some burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my burlap ribbon and I'm just going to overlap it on the top and then hot glue it across so that it looks like this. So this is the end result to the tree collar. That is what the top looks like with the burlap ribbon. So in order to keep the tree collar standing in place, I added two hoops with the rope and then I added another rope just to tie it and I can show you really quick how that works. So I made a knot to that end and then I'm just going to loop it through and then just tighten it as snug as you want. 
and then you make a knot and that is gonna help it stay in place and this is how the rope collar looks on our Christmas tree So these are the materials that we're going to be using for the tree box. The first thing you're going to want is three of these white foam boards from the Dollar Tree, a uh, large ruler to make your straight lines. I have this one on hand, this is why I'm using this, a pencil to draw your lines, a utility knife, I did purchase mine at the Dollar Tree, a measuring tape, you can also find these at the Dollar Tree. I'm using brown paint, brown acrylic paint in the color burnt ombre. You can use any paint of your choice. Um, the Dollar Tree does have black foam boards if you want to keep yours black. A paintbrush, which you can also find at the Dollar Tree, and some hot glue. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut the front of the box. So I'm going to start by measuring 19 and a half inches. Now we're going to measure the same at the top. So now I'm going to make a straight line where I made the marks. So next we're going to measure 9 inches, now we're doing the same to the other side. So now we're going to measure 9 inches on this side. And be very careful when doing this. And set the piece that you just cut off the side because you're going to need it later. So now that you have your two pieces of the front of the box cut, you're going to glue them together. And um, I am doing two pieces of the foam board just to make it a lot sturdier. And then um, once you're done hot gluing, just make sure you lift it up and try to push it together and make sure everything's lined up. So now I'm going to repeat this process three different times. This is the front, the two side of the boxes, and this will be the top. And I will be leaving the measurements for all the size in the description box down below. So I'm just using a leftover scrap of a foam board and I'm going to cut five inches, and it needs to be about five inches tall as well. And you're going to need two of these. And now we're just going to bend them. So then you'll have something that looks like this. And then we're gonna hot glue here and here. So this is everything that you should have cut. You're gonna have the front of the box, the two sides of the box, the top of the box, and then the two corners that's gonna make everything a little bit more sturdy. So the front of the box is 19 and a half inches and the sides of the box are 19 inches. So make sure you don't confuse the uh, front of the box and the side of the box. And now we're going to mark the thickness of the board. Now we're going to do the same to the other side. So now with our two corner brace, we're just going to glue them to each side and you want the flat surface down. And you want to glue it as close as you can to the line. And you don't have to measure for this part, just make sure it's as close as the middle of the board as possible. And that is what that's going to look like. So now we're going to start to glue the sides of the box. So you're gonna add some hot glue across the line we made here and then some up against the square here. Now we're going to glue every that in place. And 
then just hold it there till it dries. And now we're going to do the same to the other side. And before you do glue the other side, make sure that this side is completely dry so that it doesn't fall apart on you. And I also did add glue to the inside of the box. So now that you ensured that everything is nice and dry, now with the top of the box, we're going to add some hot glue around the edge of the top. Okay, so I'm just gonna make two small lines on each side. That's where my hot glue is gonna stop. And this part's very important to get a nice squared box. So you want to assure that this is completely lined up with the side of the box on both sides. Now I'm just going to put some pressure until it dries. And this is what your box is going to look like. Now we're going to paint it in the color ombre. So this is the end result to this spa. And since I love the farmhouse look, I just left mine a chippy wood look. But if you don't like the look, you can go ahead and paint it completely brown. And then for mine, I did not paint the inside of the box because it sits really well at the bottom of my tree. But for any of you that do make this project, and if you're able to see the inside of the box, I would recommend to paint the whole entire thing. So this is where we got the inspired look to this Christmas tree box. Franklin this year made this one out of um, wood palettes. So this is real wood and this is the Dollar Tree one. So these two DIYs only work for a Christmas tree that is up against a wall or in a corner and the tree box just slides right in. All right guys, and that's gonna be the end of my video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below which one was your favorite DIY. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and make sure that you do hit that little red bell button so that you guys get notified every time I post a new video. And I will see you guys all in my next one. Bye.